Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to increase the range of the Rystello drone using a Wi-Fi repeater. The Rystello drone connects to the controller, usually your mobile phone or tablet, using a Wi-Fi network. <coughs> and of course the range is very limited. Of the range of this Wi-Fi network is very limited. And uh, there are some solutions on the internet. Um, mainly you can find the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi repeater. And uh, it's a good piece of hardware. It works very well because uh, it can operate via a power bank. You don't need to plug it into a socket. Um, you can operate it via a power bank. And uh, for um, using it with a drone, it's essential to have a mobile power source like a power bank. And um, yeah, and there are not many Wi-Fi repeaters out there that can be operated using a power bank. And uh, the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi repeater was one of them. I have to say um, it in the past tense because it's sold out everywhere. And um, looking at the Xiaomi website, I don't think um, it's going to be produced anymore because it's not even listed as a product there. Um, and on Amazon, eBay, uh, you can rarely find uh, the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi repeater. And that's why I discovered this TP-Link repeater. Um, it can also be operated via a power bank and it's a good alternative. And in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your Rystello to the TP-Link repeater and how to fly with it. Uh, the TP-Link repeater can also work as a router or client and um, it's also it's, it's a useful tool that you can have at home. Um, if you don't need it with your Restello, you can use it as a router or something else. So I'm going to dive into what you need for this video. Um, you need a repeater, you need a power bank, and uh, you need the Restello, of course. All the links to the products on Amazon are in the description. And uh, you can buy it there. The repeater is uh, should be about $20 right now. Another thing you need is the Wi-Fi password of the Tello drone. If you can't remember it, we are going to reset it in this video and I'm going to walk you through the steps to reset your Wi-Fi password and choose a new one you can use with the repeater. So the first step is to turn on the Tello by pressing on the power button. After it has turned on, you're going to press the power button, the same power button, 10 seconds. Just hold it down for 10 seconds and after that the password and Wi-Fi SSID will be reset. Then you can let go and turn the drone back on. Now the Wi-Fi password should be reset. We're going to check it. So if you have forgotten your Wi-Fi password, you're going to do these steps I have just shown you. But uh, if you can remember it, you don't have to do it and you can just continue doing uh, the further steps. So we're now going to connect to the unprotected Tello Wi-Fi. It's unprotected because we have just successfully reset it. We're going to go into the Tello app to test it and here we can see that uh, the live image of the Tello is being transmitted to our app and the Wi-Fi network is working just right. So now we have to press uh, the gear icon and choose Wi-Fi. And we're going to set a new SSID, a new Wi-Fi name and a new password. Please make sure to use a Wi-Fi name without special characters because some repeaters, maybe also the TP-Link repeater, are going to co get confused by uh, the special characters. After having set and entered your Wi-Fi password, you need to restart um, it by pressing the prompt in the app. And after that, I personally would um, restart the Tello manually by pressing the power button again. And now we can check if we can connect to the new Wi-Fi network with the new name and the new password. And here we get prompted for the new password and we have to enter the password we have just uh, set in the app. So we are successfully connected and we can check again inside the Teller app if everything is working fine and if we see a live image. 
So everything is working fine and we can continue. Um, I would turn off the tallow now because it can overheat. It only has passive and not active cooling and if you keep it on the table and not in the air for too long it can turn pretty hot and shut itself off and uh, yeah so to prevent this just turn it off now. You don't need it to be on. Now we can configure the repeater. Please make sure to remember the password we have just set. Um, Please make sure to check if your power bank is suitable for this repeater. If not, I have a link in the description for a suitable power bank. It needs 5 volts and 1 ampere. After checking, just connect the repeater to the power bank. Now we have to go into our Wi-Fi settings again and wait for the Wi-Fi network of the repeater to be shown in our list here. And there it is, it says TP-Link CD58, maybe it's something different, um, yeah, but it should have TP-Link in its name. Uh, you're going to get asked for a password. The password is the default password, you can find it underneath, on, on, the, on the bottom of the repeater. I have uh, censored it here with this yellow piece of paper, but it should be an eight-digit code. Now just wait for your mobile phone or tablet to connect to the TP-Link repeater. Now open up your browser and enter the URL tplinkwifi.net. Everything without a blank or without um, any special character, just tplinkwifi.net. Um, the TP-Link repeater sets up a little web server and you can connect to it via entering this URL. The prompt is username and password. You can find again on the bottom of the repeater it's admin ad admin by default. Admin is the username, admin is the password. So this is the configuration page. Uh, you can configure everything here from you can see security, parental controls, everything. But uh, we are going to go, go into the quick setup. Just hit next and you're going to be asked if you want to change the login password. I would recommend changing the login password um, from admin admin to something more secure. But uh, in this video we are not going to do it. So hit next again and then we can select the operation mode. And there are several operation modes as I said uh, in the beginning of the video. But we are going to need the range extender mode. Now hit next and then we can see a list of the nearby Wi-Fi networks and uh, we have to turn our Tello on again to have uh, the Tello's Wi-Fi network listed here. We're going to hit the refresh button until the Tello's Wi-Fi uh, network uh, appears in the list. After you can see the Tello Wi-Fi network uh, you have to click the connect button. It is just the rightest uh, column in this table. And uh, now you can leave every setting like it is. Just enter the password we have just set in the Tello app. Or if you can remember your old password, enter your old password into here because uh, the repeater needs this to clone the Wi-Fi network of the Tello and to forward it, to repeat it. After that, you have to select a name, the name of the Wi-Fi network that the repeater is going to send out. And we're going to click Customize and just leave it as it is. Then we will have two Wi-Fi networks, Tele Wi-Fi and Tele Wi-Fi Axt. And Axt is the one we have to connect to later. We're going to hit Next and uh, in the next screen we're going to leave the options as they are and click Next again. And now we are done, uh, we can hit finish and after that the repeater will reboot. And after it has hit 100%, maybe uh, your site is going to be reloading and it's just stuck like mine, but that's not a problem. Uh, you can just manually restart the repeater by plugging it out of the cord and plugging it back in. Uh, the green light is indicating that the repeater has successfully connected to Tello's Wi-Fi network 
and that the connection is stable and established. So just turn off your Tello because uh, of the overheating problem again. And now I'm going to um, plug out the repeater and plug it back in to manually restart it. And now the repeater slide should be blinking and after a couple of seconds it should turn to a stable green light. And all those steps that we have just done, you only have to do it this time. Um, every time you now go out you with your Tello, you're going to take your power bank with you, your repeater with you, your Tello with you, and you're going to plug it into your power bank, the repeater, plug it into your power bank, then turn on the Tello and it should automatically connect to Tello's Wi-Fi network and turn to a stable green light. So we're going to do the process, uh, plug it into the power bank and then turn on Tello and then we're going to wait for the green light to become stable and um, which will indicate that the Tello's connection to the repeater is established. Okay, everything worked fine. Um, it's a stable green light and we can check if it's working. Just go into your Wi-Fi settings and you should see two Wi-Fi networks, the Tello's Wi-Fi network and Tello Wi-Fi X. And now we're going to connect to Tello Wi-Fi X because that's the Wi-Fi network that comes out of the repeater. The password is the one that we have set in the Tello app or the one that you can remember if you haven't reset your Tello password. Uh, when you're doing this the first time, it can take a few seconds. Just be calm. <laughs> Everything is going to work out fine. So now we're connected to Tello Wi-Fi X to our repeater and we can check in our Tello app if everything is working fine, if uh, the repeater is repeating um, the Tello signal and the live image to our tablet. So this is how to set up the TP-Link Wi-Fi extender with Rise Tello and I wish you many good flights with the TP-Link repeater and your Rise Tello.